And hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kaz Has. My name is Kaz Vaughn, and today we're going to be checking out a game called Over 9000 Zombies. It has nothing to do with Dragon Ball Z. I think they're just trying to uh, capitalize on the May May. So, this is a game that is a top-down twin-stick shooter. Kind of a survival mode, horde mode kind of game. It's got some cool mechanics on top of that. Uh, as you can see, there's like buildings and stuff here that we can hold up in. My strategy so far has been kind of just... um. Going as far south as I can and getting on this bridge here. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's in the spirit of the game, but uh, it seems to be the best place for me to hold out from what I've seen. I've tried a bunch of different buildings. It's actually really hard. It might be easier because there is co-op in this. It is online only two-player co-op. I think it's just through... I don't know if it's through Steam because when you start a game, you can just host it yourself. So it may just be like you're hosting it and someone else will join your game. It doesn't seem to be that you're able to just invite people, but um, this this game is in early access. I'm actually playing it before it's even released for early access, so it could just be an artifact of that, that it's kind of weird how that all works. But basically, you uh, have to survive waves and waves of zombies. You have multiple weapons. I'm using my pistol right now, which is dumb. I like to use my, uh, let's see, MZK. It's a lot better, shoots a lot further, does more damage. It's way better than the other weapons I have. I mean, I have a shotgun. I also have a rocket launcher and an AK. And kind of an MP5 kind of thing. I have a Tommy gun kind of thing. Like, man, this is actually really good. I wonder if I still have my plasma rifle. I do. So I think the further you make it in the game, the more weapons you tend to unlock, and then you kind of keep them every time you play, because I didn't have the plasma rifle the first time I played through the game. So I'm thinking the more you play it, the better weapons you get, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a leaderboard, honestly, but that's okay. Because um, you won't be able to get the top score just in your first playthrough that way anyway. So if I have all these awesome weapons just on the first level, then what's the point? But uh, one of the cool things that you can do in this game is you can build turrets. If you look in the bottom, you can see I have zero out of six turrets right now. Right now, I'm just kind of clearing out the area so I can build my first one. Once you get a couple turrets up, the beginning stages of the game are really easy. So hitting B will bring up my build menu. Hitting A will let me place my first turret. I already have kind of a setup I have in mind. I may have placed that a little bit too far to the right, but that's okay. Um, turrets are pretty useful. They do 100 damage. That's just the basic turret. There's also grenade turrets, fireball turrets, plasma turrets. There's all sorts of turrets. You can only have a maximum of six though. And you have to build them using scrap metal, which is stuff you pick up from killing enemies. Which, the beginning stages of the game, it makes it really hard, because... Well, not really hard. <laughs> if you play like a wimp like me, who hides behind turrets and just this one bridge, it's actually kind of easy. But, you have to collect enough scrap metal just to build your turrets. The, the rocket launcher turret, which is what I like the best, costs 50 scrap metal. These basic turrets, I think they only cost like 8. Yeah, they just cost 8. So let's get another turret up. And let's actually get our my first four up. Kind of make a little square. Um, you don't have to stand right where you build. If you bring up the build menu and hit that, you can use the D-pad to kind of move it around. You can build further away from where you're standing, so you can still hide behind cover while you're building stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, this, I'm using a, a 360 controller right now. Uh, you can use a mouse and keyboard, and it might actually even be better and more accurate. I just really prefer to use a, a uh, gamepad for most things, so I don't know. You can take away my PC Gamer card if you want, but I don't know, I just like the controller. So sue me. There is settings for um, Dead Zone and all that kind of stuff to make the controller experience a little bit better. I, had, I did tinker with that a little bit. But basically all you do is kind of just hold down the right trigger and aim and annihilate people and try to grab metal. Uh, one of the things that I don't like about the game right now, I mean it's in early access, so any criticisms I have is really just me asking them to uh, maybe add some stuff. Who am I to say anything, but still. Um, ooh, scrap metal. Uh, when you get hit, there's not a whole lot of feedback. Oh, I hate it when they spawn right behind you. There's not a whole lot of feedback. Like, I'll find myself on, like, 10 health and not even know I was ever hit. Um, there's, like, not really an audio cue for it, and there's not really a visual cue for it. It's just kind of like, oh, I'm low on life now. <laughs> so I wish they would, like, do something with that to make it a little bit better. I'm going to start building walls. Uh, walls are able to be destroyed by zombies. Some zombies are better at breaking walls than others. There's zombies that shoot fireballs. They're really good at destroying walls. So if you try to hole up in a building and you don't have enough turrets focusing fire on one particular direction, you will uh, lose your walls really quick. But this setup I have right here, it's actually pretty good. Um, the furthest I've gotten is day seven. Every time you complete a day, you get an achievement. 
Um, the highest achievement that's there is day 20, so I think the game might actually have an ending. Each wave is a little bit different from what I've seen, but after wave like five, I've seen basically re like remixing of the old enemies. Like there's not like a huge variety of enemies in the game just yet, but it's still pretty cool. I mean, if you play games like Chris uh, what is that, Crimson Land? Uh, it's a little more faster paced. There's no walls. There's not a whole lot of cover. It's more of an open area, and there's not a lot of, not of like tactically hiding behind things to make sure zombies don't get you. It's a lot more of just uh, kind of circling around them to group them all up and then mowing them down. And hopefully, get, hopefully you will get power ups and destroy them. In this game, there are pyro they're power ups, but they're not really too too useful. They're useful when you see a bunch of metal way off in the distance and you accidentally, you know, you happen to get upon God mode and you just can kind of just run right through them. So we're gonna start day number two right now. There is a day night cycle which kind of hampers your vision. You can't really see too too far when it's nighttime, but that you know, it just adds a little more challenge. Really, I mean, it's not too dangerous when zombies are just at the edge of that ring, but as you can see, they'll spawn right next to you. So I can't really comment too much on like weapon variety or enemy variety, I guess, because it is really access. But from what I've seen, there's not a whole whole lot. Um, even like the plasma rifles, just a fast shooting machine gun like gun with a different sound effect. It's not really, it even does the same damage I think as the AK or even this weapon. So I kind of wish it would add more to that. You can notice too that I, I there are grenades and I'm not using them. Um, It's better just to hold on to them until I think day five. Uh, there are, there's a fast type of zombie. These are just slow type zombies. You see the fireball zombies hanging out in there too. Um, there's also super quick zombies. I think day five is a day where it's all fast zombies, all swarming, and it's like a huge group of zombies. That's where grenades are really handy because you can take them out pretty darn quick. I really need to start uh, grabbing a lot more metal here, so I'm gonna start venturing out, being a little dangerous. As you can see, I got hit there. Um, yeah, there's really not a whole lot of feedback when it comes to that. It's kind of disappointing. <laughs> it's kind of frustrating too when you're just dead and you're like, oh, I didn't even know I got hit. See if I can just chuck some, uh, whoop, get more grenades. Uh, it doesn't seem to be a limit to this, how many grenades you can hold. I've had over a hundred before. Whoop. Sneak on through here. It's still got a lot of that, like, just kind of, uh, kiting them around to try and bunch people up. It does keep track of your DPS and how many kills per second and how much, uh, whoo, how many kills per second, like, all that kind of stuff. And that's all on online leaderboards, so that's really cool. I, I like arcade type games where it has a lot of different leaderboard statistics so you can gauge yourself against your friends like in a lot of different ways. That makes it a lot more fun, especially when, I mean, it's only two player co-op, but mostly I think this is more of a single player game. I don't really know what a second player would add except maybe frustration, because I, I don't know if your turret limit goes up or if it's per person, because like I said, I could not get into a multiplayer game, so. Ooh. Got double damage pretty useful. We can just like mow down a bunch of these guys. See, they'll, they'll kind of get caught like right there. Throw a grenade. That's useful. I mean, I can't get that stuff, but oop, got some metal. Got incinerity rounds. There we go. Super speed. Now we can run back. Kill the fireman. Get some metal. But it's really just like trying to collect metal is really all you're doing in the beginning stages of the game, which is fine. It's just gets a little tedious. All right, we're going to finish this wall because there's a lot more guys who come from the left than the right. Um, I'm, I actually revised my strategy from the first time I played, so I might die because, I don't know, first I made super weak walls, which are way cheaper, and then I built stronger walls around that. This time I'm just going for all strong walls right away, so I'll probably, I don't know, we'll see if that works. I'm not too uh, hard up on beating the game for you guys. Like I said, I think the game ends in 20, 20 days. Each round is really, really long though. Let's see here, I can build, ooh, I'm really close to building a rocket turret. So hopefully more metal will drop. I think I may have gotten lucky too my last time I played because I got so much metal the first wave. Just so much, I got like 200 the first wave. Yeah, it's kind of strange that this is an early access game. I mean, I understand that it's not, to them, it's not done, but it seems done enough to be, like, almost a full release. I mean, you can always just have, like, post-launch content and not even charge for it, like, Terraria style, but I don't know. Maybe they just don't want to have people think that this is their complete 
vision of their game, but they still need money to pay for development. So, you know. To each his own, I guess. It doesn't really bother me. Whoop. Did I get hit? No, I didn't get hit. So that's a problem. Still my biggest problem. Alright. So I think we almost have enough. Okay, we do have enough to make a rocket turret. Put that there. And it shoots super slow. But it does AoE, which is really nice. But yeah. That's pretty much over 9,000 zombies. There are no DBZ references in the game that I can see. There might be some in some of the achievements. I didn't really look through them too hard. Um, it's a real simple game. I don't. I have no idea how much it's going to be either. There's no price up yet. This is. I'm playing this exactly 24 hours before release, so I have no idea what the pricing is going to be on this game. Um, I'd pay. I'd pay 10 bucks for it. <laughs> I don't want to put a price on it, but this seems like a $10-ish kind of game. 10 to 15. I mean, it's complete enough. It's an early access game, so you can't expect too, too much from it. I barely expect anything from early access games. If you uh, think it's too bare bones to pay that much, then yeah, just wait on it, because they're obviously going to be adding more stuff. Um, I, in general, don't encourage anyone to buy early access just for the simple fact that the game's not done yet. And by the time the game is done, it may not be a game that you want to play. So... You know, fire beware. Alright, we are done with day two. We are beginning day three. I also kind of wish there was a reason for me to, like, venture off. This place is huge. Uh, the map is not randomly generated in any way. Uh, the map is always the same. I just kind of wish that there's a little more, uh, a little more reason for me to run around. Maybe to get these cool extra weapons, I would have to go to certain buildings to find them. Maybe give me a reason to venture out. You know, give me some reason to explore, guys. Yeah, and I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna play it really dumb right here, kind of zigzag around. I lost half my health there. Throw a grenade. I want that metal. What I really want is metal. I need to complete my walls. I need 20 more to complete my walls. I wonder why they went with zombies. Aren't zombies kind of a play out thing? And you, you have fireball throwing zombies. Can't you just like make it, I don't know, something else? They don't eat my brains. I mean, maybe it'd be cool. How about in multiplayer, if one player dies, they become a zombie. That'd be fun. I'd play that. I would, you might get into a situation where people intentionally die though, which is, oh, there we go. So yeah, well, that's a run of over 9,000 zombies and uh, me bumbling, trying to talk while being swarmed by them. So I apologize for any crappy commentary, but that's kind of par for the course for me. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. If this is something you're interested in, there will be a link in the description below for you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.